Chapter 5 Incident of the Letter Presently, after he sat on the side of his own hearth with Mr. Guest, his head clerk, upon the other in midway between, at a nicely calculated distance from the fire, a bottle of a particular old wine that had long dwelt unsunned in the foundations of his house, the fog still slept on the wing above the drowned city, where the lamps glimmered like carbuncles, and through the muffle and smother of these fallen clouds, the procession of the town's life was still rolling in through the great arteries with the sound of a mighty wind. But the room was gay with firelight. In the bottle, the acids were long ago resolved, and the imperial dye was softened with time. As the color grows richer in stained windows, and the glow of hot autumn afternoons on hillside vineyards was ready to be set free, and to disperse the fogs of London, 